Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this sparkly holiday look for you guys. And all the shadows I used were from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay, to start off, I'm using my Clinique Moisturizing Lotion. I like to use the lotion in the winter and the gel in the summer when my skin's more oily. And then I'm going in with my Too Faced Hangover. This is a moisturizing primer. And then I'm just going to moisturize my lips with the Cary Grand Lip Whip. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer. And this is just to fill in my pores. And right here, I just needed a little coffee break. And then for foundation today, I am using the MAC Match Master in number one. And I'll just use about two pumps for one side of my face and then two pumps for the other half of my face. And I do have a lot of blemishes right now, so I do double up my foundation. I just add another layer on top of any problem areas that I have instead of adding concealer. And for my concealer today, I'm using the Naked Skin by Urban Decay, and this is in Fair Neutral. This is by far my absolute favorite concealer for anything really, for the under eye area, for blemishes, for dark circles. I just think this is an all around great holy grail concealer to use. It's not drying, it's blendable, you have time to work with it. It doesn't settle into my pores, which is a huge plus for me because I do have that problem sometimes with concealers caking up on my pores and sinking into them and making them even more noticeable. And then for my contour today, I'm using the Kevin Aquan Contouring Book Volume 2. And this is my first time using cream, so I wasn't really sure what I was doing, but I think it turned out okay. So I'm just taking the cream on a brush and then I am blending it out with a damp beauty blender and then I will go in and kind of smooth it out and darken it up with the powder that's also in this palette. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm just building up on that contour, setting it in place and then I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just cleaning up the contour and then I'm also setting the highlight underneath my eyes and make sure before you do that that you go ahead and just tap it out one more time just so you don't set those lines and then I'm just going to tap right on top of that the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Translucent Powder and this is like my new favorite obsession it really does make your skin look airbrushed and then I'm just going to quickly run through my brows as usual so my brows are just the same like you guys have seen before so I kind of sped through this and yes brows do make me feel some type of way and so does coffee so combine the two and that's what happens so I'm just finishing up my brows with the Anastasia powder and then I decided I needed another little dance break in there and then moving on to eyes I'm using the Maybelline color tattoo metal and this is in the color barely branded number 70 and I'm using this as my eyeshadow base today and I'm just using my finger to apply that to my lid and then the palette I'm using today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow couture world traveler palette so for the transition color I'm going in with soft peach and I'm just using a really fluffy blending brush to apply that. And then I am taking a little bit more of a denser but still fluffy brush. And I'm going into Intense Gaze and just applying that to the outer half of my lid. And I did apply tape um, after I applied my transition color because I decided I wanted it to be a little bit more sharp on the edges. And then I'm just taking a smaller brush and applying fudge just to deepen up the crease a little bit more to add some definition. I did think that the intense gaze was going to be a little bit more pink but it actually wasn't very pink at all, not to me anyways. And then I did go ahead and just take a fluffy brush, the Sigma E40 I believe, 
to blend all of the harsh lines out. And then I took a really tiny detailed crease brush and I went in with Noir, which is just a matte black. And I use that just to kind of go along the outer V of your eye. And I just wanted to further define that since this is going to be more of a dramatic look with glitter. So I just wanted to make the eyes pop. So I went ahead and used Chic for the lid color. I was debating between Pink Champagne and Chic, but I always use Pink Champagne. Um, so I decided to use Chic, and I used my fingers first, but I decided that I wanted to use a brush, so I just packed it on there. And then I'm going in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner, and this is in Midnight Cowboy. It is such a gorgeous glitter, and it's one of my new obsessions as well, along with a few other products that I have recently picked up. So I'm just applying that to the inner half of my lid where I applied the color Chic and then I just kind of blended out the intense gaze color on the edge into it and then going in with my favorite liner this is the NYX liner I'm just creating my wings and then I am moving on to lashes and I'm just using my tweezers and my black duo eyelash glue and these are red cherry lashes I'm not sure which ones they are. I want to say they're like 415 or something like that, but I'm not sure. And then I'm just taking a black liner to line my waterline because I want this to be really dramatic. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush, and this one's from Sigma. And I'm just going to blend out the black a little bit just to soften it up. And then I do go in with a little bit of the brown from the palette and put that right over it to smooth it out and then I applied the same lid color to the inner corners and then I'm just applying glitter over top of that and then of course if you want you can apply mascara to your lower lash line and then I'm going in with the Benefit Sugar Bomb blush and this does have a little bit of shimmer to it and then I'm just going to take my Sigma Duo Fiber Brush and blend all of the harsh lines out as usual because you do not want any harsh lines. And then I'm taking my NYX lip liner and I think this one's in pale pink. You really can't even see it but it just helps keep the color inside the lines. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline Color Elixir and this is in Signature Scarlet number 20. And I usually don't wear a red lip but here it is. This is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! She could choke on that's what she got back in the